Okay, we're going to try to capture this um, adaptive solar charging thing in action here. Uh, it's set to trigger at 28 and a half volts. It just triggered. The empty bar graph down there is the load. It takes a little while for the EVSE um, <clears throat> thing to boot and the car to realize it has and start drawing power. This will be the um, second cycle. Here we go. Load coming up. Inverter humming. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's actually drawing more power than the solar panels are putting in, although that top line battery amps is deceptive because there's another 20 amps or so worth of solar panels in the system that this thing is not aware of. And so interestingly, since the battery voltage doesn't drop as much as it theoretically should, it starts declaring the battery fuller than it is. As you can see, the battery voltage has dropped from 28 something to 26 something. Um, when it hits 26, it'll start a timer that says if it stays there for two minutes, it'll just shut the car back off because we don't want to run our house batteries down. We can see here we're drawing 3,300 and change watts. And that's just the car. That's the only thing on that circuit right now. Um, this whole system was kind of put together just to do the car. And, well, it'll run my fuser and my lathe and some other stuff too. Um, so we're actually drawing 73 more amps at 24 volts than, uh, than my panels are putting out because it's only... Uh, 10 minutes after 10. Most of them are laying flat in the garden in the winter in this shade. Uh, but by the time they hit full sun, the car will probably uh, already be charged up. So now we've, we've certainly invoked the timer that's going to turn this back off because the battery voltage is down to 25.4 volts. Like I said, see it's showing the battery fuller than it was before even though we're actually emptying it because that 20 amp uh, outside the system charge input is uh, confusing its battery fullness algorithm. That doesn't matter to us. We we know that if we're, if we're showing 25 volts and change, we're not we're not doing any harm. So here, pretty shortly here, it should shut off. Thirty four hundred watts, a little bit more than GM says. Mm. These are real watts, not uh, spec sheet watts. This is what it's actually costing, them, costing us. <clears throat> and once this sh shuts off and we see the batteries recover, I'll uh, remove the camera from the tripod and we will um, take a look at the rest of the system in its currently horribly non-code lashed up state. <laughs> second now we should drop this load. There we did. Boom. We dropped the load. And the battery voltage immediately starts going back up, but it stops reporting the batteries as full <laughs> because now it's saying, well look, I'm putting this huge amount of amps into the batteries and the voltage isn't way up high yet. Of course, as it cycles, that'll happen. See, we're already back up to 27 and climbing. Okay, let's take this off the tripod. Controllers, as you can see, I haven't put the lids on or even run the wires yet. Some of the wires are just running in through the window. This is a um, big Xantrex inverter, which is about one car's worth, or one lathe, or several lathes, or a fuser, or whatever. That transformer hanging on the wall is what I use to take a 120 volt generator and make 240 out of it to uh, make the um, inverter willing to be a charger off of it. And going over here is the uh, bunch of solid state relays I have uh, controlled off uh, the aux output of one of the solar charge controllers and a little bit of wiring. That big box on the left brings in the uh, main house power from another inverter out in the shed. And I'm going to add a couple of switched outlet boxes to these relays which since they're lighting up means it's ready to start charging the car again. So we're just doing this little one or two minute cycle. Um, it was able to start charging the car after declaring the house batteries in reasonable shape at 10 a.m. even though I ran them down pretty good last night. So this is a working setup.